Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about solving rational equations. And we're going to solve each equation, and remember to check for extraneous solutions. So if I was given this equation, 1 over 2x minus x minus 1 over 2x squared is equal to 3 over x. Well, what I'm going to do now is I need to multiply uh, this fraction by x over x. And what that does, when I multiply it out, right, I'll put a big parenthesis there, Multiply it out, it gives me the same base. So we have x over 2x squared minus x minus 1 over 2x squared equals 3 over x. Since they have the same base now, I can combine the fractions, I can subtract them. So I have x minus x, so distribute the minus sign, gives me a plus, uh, so we have x right there, plus 1. And that's all over 2x squared, and that's equal to 3 over x. I now can multiply both sides by 2x squared. That eliminates a 2x squared on the left-hand side. And then on the right-hand side, it eliminates the x, just giving me now 3 times 2, x is 6x. And the right-hand side, well, x minus x is 0, plus 1 is 1. I then divide by 6 to both sides, giving me 1 6 is equal to x. So right here, x equals 1 6. Nice and neat. <coughs> Excuse me. So now i got to check my work. So I'm going to plug 1 6 for every single time I see an x. So I have 1 over 2 times 1 6 minus uh, 1 6 minus 1 over uh, 2 times 1 6 squared equals 3 divided by 1 6. Okay, so let's go check that. Well, 2 times 1 6 is 1 third, so we have 1 over 1 third minus here 1 6 minus 1 is a negative 5 6 over, well, 1 6 squared is 1 over 36. Okay. And times it by 2 is uh, 1 over 18. So we have 1 over 18 right there. Equals, now a little trick here we do is 3 divided by 1 6 is the same thing as 3 times 6 over 1. And 3 times 6 is 18. So we have an 18 actually right there. Okay, we can combine that. I can um, do that same trick with this thing here, giving me a 3 here. So 1 divided by 1 third is just a 3. And then our subtraction signs kind of eliminate to make a, po a positive sign. We have minus and negative. Positive. So now what I'm going to do here with that little 5, 6, 5, 6, right? 5, 6 divided by 1 over 18 is the same thing as 5, 6 times 18 over 1. 6 goes into 18 3 times. Fantastic. So we have 15 here, right? 5 times 3 is 15 equals my 18 that's on the right. 3 plus 15 is 18. 18 does equal 18. Left and right equal. Fantastic. No extraneous solutions. And my final answer is just x equals 1, 6. So let's recap. We're given 1 over 2x minus x minus 1 over 2x squared equals 3 over x. I then had to combine these two together so I had the same base. So I multiplied it by x over x, giving me 2x squared in that base and x in the numerator. By combining them, I was left with x minus x plus 1, because I distributed that minus sign, all over 2x squared equals 3 over x. Multiply both sides by 2x squared, give me 1 over x equals, uh, sorry, 1 equals 6x. Then I divided by 6 on both sides, give me x by itself, and my final answer being x equals 1 6. I had to check that, so I plugged 1 6 into my equation and simplified, and simplified doing some fancy fraction work. I got 18 equal 18, my left and right hand side were equal. Fantastic, confirming that 1 6 is not an extraneous solution, but my final answer, which is, again now, x equals 1 